Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we're going to explain to you the thermostat wiring color codes, what they mean, how they work with your thermostat and what you need to know if you are installing a smart thermostat or just a regular thermostat. So what we've got here today is a five wire system. Now these color codes will be the same for a four wire system and a lot of the color codes will even transfer over if you've got a seven wire or eight wire system. And those are a little bit more complex so we'll get into those at the end. But this is probably the most common and typical wiring that someone would have for a HVAC system with standard furnace heat and an air conditioner. So I'm gonna start in the middle here and work my way out with the wire color codes for a thermostat. Now, why would you want to know the thermostat wiring color codes? Well, there's a couple reasons. Maybe you're installing a smart thermostat and you lost the colors, so you don't know what they mean. Maybe you're installing a thermostat from scratch with an HVAC system, or for whatever reason, you're remodeling and you need to run new wires for a thermostat. So that is why we did this video. And the R wire, which is right here in the center, is probably the most important wire. That is the power wire. So from your furnace, you're getting anywhere between 18 and 24 volts, depending on your system. It should be 24 for most systems, but that's coming through the red wire or the power wire. And what happens when your thermostat activates any one of these other wires is that the power from this R wire goes down, let's just say the Y wire, and then back to your furnace, and that tells your furnace to turn on cooling, which is what the Y wire means. Or if you had heating, the power from the R wire would go down to the heat wire and it would go back to your furnace or HVAC system and tell it to turn on the cooling. So the R wire is the most important and it is the only one that will have power on it until your thermostat has turned on or detected another mode of too hot or too cold and told your HVAC system to turn on or off. So the next wire that we have here is the Y wire the yellow wire that is used for cooling. It controls your air conditioner. And this wire goes all the way back to your HVAC system, connects to a terminal on your HVAC system board and controls your air conditioner, compressor and condenser. And when power from the R wire goes to the Y wire, it will activate your cooling system. The W wire is the heat wire. The heating is activated whenever you get R from W and that will activate the furnace or burner inside your HVAC system, which will then provide you with heat. The G wire is the fan or green wire. And that actually isn't required for most HVAC systems, but most have it. What the G wire does is allow you to control your fan to turn it on or off whenever you want, regardless if you have heating or cooling going. Normally when you activate cooling or heating, it's going to automatically turn on your fan no matter what if you don't have a G wire because your HVAC system knows that it needs to circulate air in order for it to work. Now, there are some seasons or some times where you just wanna activate your fan so you can circulate air throughout your house. In the moderate seasons of spring and fall, it's a good way to save energy just by circulating air throughout your house if you open up some windows. And that's what the G-Wire will do. It will activate the fan without activating heating or cooling. Now, the other thing that you can do with the fan wire is just run your fan all the time in the winter if you're getting really uneven heating and cooling. And what that does is it just circulates air through your house. And if you have the proper returns and ductworks, it's a good way to get the air flowing and kind of even things out for a lot of people that I know here in Chicago or the Northeast. They get really cold days and their house heats and cools differently in areas and you're having a tough time getting it to the same temperature everywhere. Running the fan will usually help, assuming that you have the proper ductwork and returns for your HVAC system. Now the last one is the C wire or the common wire. We've got all kinds of other videos on the common wire and how it works with your smart thermostat or standard thermostat. So the C wire is typically blue and what it is is it's like a neutral wire for your thermostat. 
Basically, if you have a smart thermostat like Nest or Ecobee, the common wire allows your thermostat to constantly charge without turning on the heating or cooling or the fan because that thermostat has a tiny little battery in it that needs to stay charged up in order to communicate with Wi-Fi signals to your network. So what the R wire does with the C wire is it creates a circuit that can charge the battery without activating any of these other things. Now the Nest doesn't always require a common wire, but sometimes it does if you are getting low power or low battery issues with the Nest. The Ecobee thermostat does require a common wire or a common wire adapter in order to work. So it's a little module you put inside the furnace in order to make a common wire out of a four wire setup. Whereas the Nest can operate on a four wire setup even without the common wire. And how it does that is by taking teeny tiny little bits of charge from these other wires in your system without activating it. So just a little bit about how smart thermostats work. And I knocked the mic off. So I hope that didn't sound too crazy. I flew across the room probably. But that is the difference between the five wires in what they do for a thermostat and the color codes for your thermostat. So if you had a smart thermostat or an existing thermostat and you took it off the wall and you forgot what those wires meant, this provides a good diagram showing you exactly what they mean and what they do. White or W is heating. Y or yellow is cooling. R and power is red, G for fan is green, C is typically blue, and that is the common wire. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.